In order to study the process of recombinant DNA technology, it is essential to study that what sort of tools are required in order to perform the recombination process. For the production of recombinant DNA, mainly three tools are necessary. First, restriction enzymes. Second, cloning vectors. And third, competent host. So let us begin with the first tool that is restriction enzymes. Restriction enzymes are also called as restriction endonucleases. which are generally bacterial enzymes. The main function of such bacterial enzymes or restriction enzymes is that it helps in the cutting of desired DNA fragment and introduce it into a vector. That is any other DNA molecule which is termed as plasmid. Thus the main function of restriction enzymes can be considered as the cutting of the DNA desired sequence and introduce it into a vector for obtaining a new specific sequence. These enzymes, the main function of these enzymes is that it helps in the recognition of short sequences of DNA. With the help of which this double stranded DNA with the help of such specific enzymes that is restriction enzymes can obtain or can extract out from it specific sequences out from the donor cell and is inserted into vector. It is because of these specific sequences of a DNA that various products can be obtained in a recombinant manner. Therefore, on this basis, different enzymes, that is different restriction enzymes, recognize different but specific sequence. And therefore, this specificity is very important for such restriction enzyme for its recognition. And therefore, for different Recombination DNA in order to obtain different restriction enzymes are needed. Such specific sequences generally range from 4 to 8 base pairs. Such specific sequence is known as recognition sequence. These restriction enzymes are generally named by a three or four letter word which is termed as abbreviation
that identifies that origin. For example, ECO R1 is a restriction endonuclease or we can say restriction enzyme that is derived from organism E. coli. Therefore, this ECO represents the enzyme that is extracted from E. coli. R represents the strain from which this restriction enzyme is extracted that is the strain of E. coli. And one, it is the Roman representation indicating the order in which enzymes were isolated first from that strain of bacteria. Therefore, this I represents the Roman number 1 that indicates the order of the enzymes in which they were isolated from the stream. Today, we know more than about 900 restriction enzymes that have been isolated for about more than 230 strains of bacteria. This is the only case of bacteria. That is the other organism, which are only few exception in nature, also releases enzymes. Thus, 900 restriction enzymes are obtained from 230 strains of bacteria. Such restriction enzymes generally belong to a class called nucleases. On this basis, nucleases can be of two types, exonuclease and endonuclease. Out of this, restriction enzymes are of endonuclease in nature. Ex exonuclease can be considered as the enzyme that removes nucleotide nucleotides from the ends of the DNA while endonucleases are the class of enzymes which make specific cuts within the DNA sequence. And therefore restriction enzymes are the type of endonucleases which acts within the DNA sequence and therefore make a cut that is specific cut within the DNA sequence. Now the restriction endonucleases makes a cleavage or cut within the DNA sequence. But this cut is also not of the same nature. Different cuts are made in different DNA sequences. In such a manner, restriction endonuclease recognizes the short palindromic sequences and cuts it at specific sites. Therefore, before cutting 
It recognizes the short palindromic sequences within which this specific cut is made. This palindromic sequences is considered as a sequence of base pairs that occurs in double-stranded DNA in such a manner that it reads and it recognizes the same both backwards and inwards that is backwards and forward which is the two opposite side across this double strand In this manner, the cut is made accordingly so that the specificity and recognition of such sequence within the double-stranded DNA remains the same from the backwards and forward across this double-stranded molecule. When such a restriction endonucleus acts on the palindrome, it cleaves both the strands of DNA molecule. However, this cleavage of the DNA double-stranded molecule can also be of two types. That is, the enzymes sometimes cut the two strands in such a manner that they symmetrically leaves blunt ends that is occurs division or cutting in a symmetrical manner that is equally as a result the blunt end fragments are formed while the second type is the sticky end fragments in which the cutting of sequence by enzymes takes place in an asymmetrical manner. This figure depicts the cutting of in, cutting of the sequences by enzyme producing in an asymmetrical manner that is sticky end fragments while in a symmetrical manner that produces blunt end fragments. However, out of these two, only the sticky end fragments are majorly used or useful in recombinant DNA technology. Here, when both the plasmid that is vector and the desired DNA cut by the same enzyme, the resultant DNA fragments have the same kind of sticky ends, which can be further joined by another exam called DNA ligase.
In this manner, the cutting of enzymes, that is DNA fragments or specific sequences occurs by the restriction endonuclease or restriction enzymes which after combining with the plasmid or the vector DNA gets joined by the DNA ligase and forms the recombinant DNA exhibiting the recombination process.